Hey, this is Sully for Antisocial News, and this is the Body Count Report for Friday, October 27th, 2017. And uh, there were a few stories that jumped out at me uh, from around the world. One was uh, Israel. Apparently there was an assassination attempt on a Hamas uh, leader that... Uh, was apparently done by Islamic State, uh, or so Palestinian officials stated, but there is an open conspiracy theory that it was actually Israel doing it. Uh, so I put the link in there to so, so people could see that convoluted story. Um, uh, it's, it's very convoluted. I, I was trying to explain to people why uh, there, there was a lot of um, uh, conspiracy theories in America about Israel and ISIS, and some of them were so unfounded it was literally based on having similar um, acronyms, which is probably one of the silliest conspiracy theories I've ever heard. But that aside, one of the things they pointed at was there's never been an ISIS attack in Israel, uh, which is not accurate. There was actually a few foiled in Israel uh, by people who who uh, straight up credited uh, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi for inspiration. But the reason why there wasn't terror attacks in Israel by ISIS for, for quite a while was because same reason why we don't have burgers from Carl's Jr. out here in the East. Because out here it's Hardee's. Uh, basically saying there's there's other franchises for terrorism in Israel that are already established. Uh, so that was why there was not a lot of overlap. Um, some of it was tactically orchestrated, too. Because uh, Israel uh tactically agitated Iran to keep ISIS away from their border. So, some Sun Tzu stuff right there. All right, um, we're also going to be talking about, uh, or the link list has a um, link and excerpt from a Ynet News post on uh, the uh, Polish reclamation of property. So check that out. Uh, it's something that I actually discussed with um, with uh, author Peter V. Sellers when he did his guest spot on our show. So uh, I'll try to put a link to his video with me as well. Um, there's also some unuploaded. Peter V. Sellers footage, so we'll put that up there too. Um, really, really, really scary slash creepy story out of the Philippines, uh, North Cotabato, where two farmers were shot to death on their farm, and uh, all all signs are pointing towards the illegal Islamic militia, uh, the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters. So, uh, the MILF is looking to crack down on Biff some more. So BIFF is gonna, is gonna be getting some more bullet brain surgery, uh, by the, uh, the local authorities there, which happen to be former terrorists who have, who have, uh, pledged uh, anti-jihad uh, and are actually working with the federal government to help identify extremists. So, some people might have longer memories and call it the pot calling the kettle black, but it's uh, hopefully going to keep Cotabato safer from this uh, this scourge of uh, of North uh, New People's Army and Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters uh, so, my money's on MILF in this situation, so, that's crazy. That's a wacky situation down there. 
Um, so good luck, AFP and MILF. Um, Malte supporter, one of the one of the last guys uh, that they've hunted down was in Quezon City. That happened Friday. So uh, very exciting. That's in that's in Luzon. So that's really scary um, because that makes that makes that very localized Marawi siege situation a full Filipino situation instead of just a uh, oh that's just one of those things that happened in the regions. No, that's that happened in the Philippines. All right, not just the regions. Not just. Not just the provinces, not just the islands, not just Mindanao. That was in the Philippines. This is the whole thing. So they're hunting down Maute the way uh, Israel hunted down the Nazis. They're hunting them down. Have they killed? They they cleared out Marawi, cornered them, shot Maute, shot uh, uh, Isnilon, uh Found uh, found Amin Muhammad shot him, and now they've uh, nabbed another another supporter of Malte. They're finding the money men from around the Philippines. So uh, this is uh, this is something to look at, something to watch. Um, okay, we're gonna move to a story that people have been chatting about. Catalan Day nerves uh, spurs optimism in worry and worry in equal measure. So that's very very. Very poetic. Thank you, Irish Times. Anyway, link is in the description. Uh, funny link, too. I think I cut that link down. It looks like I got a metadata link. I don't know what, I don't know what's going on there. Um, yeah, uh, Irish Times is good at reporting on the Catalonian situation. Um, I should look for some Spanish press on that. And... Uh, Pop it in the old Google Translate. See if I can't get some stuff before the uh, the Irish and uh, Indians and all that. All those all those English world news English speaking world news sites that I like to go to. Um, pull over here. All right. And then one of the biggest situations to talk about, uh, where a lot of people are dying, uh, body counts. 10, we got uh, voter turnout in Kenya's marred presidential election rerun pegged at 34%. So, um, yeah, Kenya's, that's from africanews.com, uh, Kenya's election was, 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 was horrible. What was going on there? So, uh, check that out. Sorry for the late upload. Also, there's going to be uh, an update on the Mogadishu terror attack. Uh, unfortunately, there's been another one uh, since since Friday. So, so then I'm going to put the details on that on the Monday body count report, uh, and I'll try to have that out by end of business tomorrow. Um, and uh, I really just want to thank everybody for the support and for uh, for your subscriptions and your likes and your comments. Um, and. Uh, Oh, happy Halloween, everybody! I hope so. I hope you guys have had a fun weekend, and um, I'm glad I get to do this for you. Uh, check out the link list in the description of this video, and um, yeah, I, I really apologize that I haven't gotten this video out to you sooner. This has been a, a, a absolute hell of a, a week. I'm trying to catch up because I've been organizing and uh, I don't know if you heard that. That is, that is the sound of making money. Um, that's that's the sound of making money since my videos uh, my videos aren't making money at the moment. <laughs> but um but yeah, we're uh, we're slowly but steadily getting the word out there about what we're doing here. So I'm 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 proud of the amount of episodes I've done, and 
I want to have more diversity in what I'm pu putting up, so stay tuned for that. I still owe you guys uh, some CNN, a CNN bashing video. Uh, I went on a pretty hilarious uh, uh, CNN di diatribe today with a with an acquaintance and had him laughing. So uh, I'll, I'll try to bottle that up and, and put that in a video for you too. But uh, yeah, this is Sully for AnySocialNews.com, Body Count Report for Friday, October the 27th. And uh, stay safe out there, everybody.